Welcome to the Got Academy podcast. Hi everybody. Hi Avi. Hey. <laughs> nice to be nice here. To be here. Yes, you are at my place. We're doing a contributor live contributor because you're a fellow Israeli and we're continuing our contributor series talking about Game of Thrones from all kinds of new and interesting angles and you have a thought. You uh, a thought experiment trying to understand how can humans realistically beat the others yes what, what do you mean this. as zombies what do you mean what do you mean uh, if there were such actually such beings as ice zombies whites and white walkers how can we actually defeat them how would that war scenario play out and we disregard season eight and how it yeah, happened yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's not think about that. Yeah, because we're talking about realistically. Realistically. <laughs> about the, big se- the book series, The Song of Ice and Fire. Okay, so how would that war look like? Well, to properly describe this war, I need to uh, explain four basic conspe- concepts. Okay. Uh, the first two is strategy and tactics, and the latter two are, is defense and attack. Okay. Okay. Strategy, tactics, tactics, defend, defense, and attack. Okay, yes. let's start with the first one. Okay, let's Strategy. start, uh, I'd rather start with tactics. Okay, okay, let's start with the second one. <laughs> second. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Changing things up here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Strategy and tactics, they are ancient, ancient Greek words. Started from ancient Greek. As, uh, ancient Greek? This is not like, you know, abracadabra. This is not magic words. They, are, they have meaning. There's a reason tactics is called tactics and strategy is called strategy. Okay. What is the reason? Okay. Tactics is, is derived from the ancient Greek word tactica techne, which, mean, which means art of arrangement. The art of arrangement. The art of arrangement. It's derived from the ancient Greek word taxis, T-A-X-I-S. The, word, the English word taxonomy is actually derived from the same word. If uh, people remember, taxonomy is the science of arranging stuff. You know, uh, the, the animal kingdom, for example, is ah, taxonomy. Okay. The Hebrew word for ceremony is tekes, which is actually ah. derived from the same Greek nah. word takis. Really? Taxis, yes. And now, there's a reason for that. If you ever witness a ceremony, a national ceremony, an inauguration, a religious ceremony. You can see that it is very procedural. It's very uh, arranged. There is a, a meaning behind every action. Yes. And there is a function and a role yes. for everybody. You do this, and then yes. there is that, and he yes. is the one that doing this. And everybody knows their role. Everybody has a job. There's, and, and then you reverse the ceremony. You reverse and reverse and re- reverse, rehearse. rehearse. rehearse ad nauseum <laughs> until uh, everybody knows the part yes. by heart. Because if you do something a little bit different, then maybe... The, the gods will be offended, yes, they will yes. not accept the sacrifice, yes. the oh. president will not be <laughs> properly... Uh, do you remember when Obama was inaugurated the first time, there was, uh, the, I think it was Judge Roberts, he changed the order of the oath. Really? I, I didn't and know And then he had, they had to do it again. Again, for it to be legal. For it, for it to be legal. <laughs> because they thought maybe someone will challenge it as they just do it again, but they're, they're in a different location. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the of, faithfully the, pres, the office of President the of the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. Okay, go I, ahead. Didn't, I didn't know that. That, that, but that's cool, that's really cool. The connection between the arrangement part, the arranging, the, the part that everything is organized in the ceremony and in, mm-hmm. in, in, in tactics. Because in tacti- war. In war, because we can uh, give several examples of uh, tactics w- which were practiced in war. For example, there's the famous uh, Macedonian ham- hammer and anvil tactics, which basically means you use the infantry part of your army as an anvil as the way to uh, hold your, down your opponent. Yeah. And then you use your cavalry as a hammer. You attack the from enemy the side, from the, the sides, of yeah. the, yes, from the side in, in the rear. Mm-hmm. Everybody know, has to know their pride. Everybody has to know what they're doing. Yes. There's uh, sa- several confusion because people say tactics. It actually can mean two different things. They're the, the tactics box, like we said, the, the hammer and anvil tactics. Okay. And there is something which is called a tactical formation. In a tactical formation, it's not necessarily an action, but the, there is a, a chunk of the army, a, si- a, a unit, 
which is in a, a formation, tactical formation. Uh, it is regular, which is contrasted to an irregular army. For example, for a tactical formation is uh, the Greek phalanx. You can okay. fight in a phalanx, uh, or you can fight irregularly. Another example is the Roman phalanx. Phalanx, it's, it's like the, 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 the square thing where they have all the shields uh, yes. from phalanx, all sides. Phalanx is named out of the, the phalangite, which hold the shield. Which it, it, everybody has to know their part in their role in the phalanx, or in the legion, for example. They cannot break ranks, they cannot break formation. Once they do, then their unity, their, their, their advantage over irregular troops yes. disappear. Okay, so let's go to strategy now. Okay, strategy is again in ancient, ancient Greek road. Ancient Greek. A ancient, ancient, ancient. Ancient Greek road. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, it means the craft of the general. Strategos is a, a general, it also a, was a civil position in ancient Athens, uh -huh. the craft of, of general, it's a, the generalship. You have all these formations, different formations, and you have to make sure that everything is working on you, on, on your region in a, in a big scale, in a large yes. scale. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to resort to uh, one of the most famous uh, military field officer, probably the most famous in the Western world, Karl Friedrich from Glasowitz. Uh, Whose famous quote, most famous quote is? is War is nothing but the continuation of policy by other means. Policy, not diplomacy? Policy, politics. Politics, okay. Glasowitz says that tactics is the art of managing troops in a battle, okay. and strategy is the art of managing the battles to win a war. Tactics is also not just a concept used in war. Uh, uh, it's used in sports as well. Uh, um, pick and roll in basketball, that's a tactic. Right. There's two people, each of them needs to know the role, yes. yeah, they need to know their job. Yeah. If one doesn't do the job, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah. Strategy is the general manager who chooses the coach, does the culture, the trainers, everything. Yes. Uh, the word stratagem uh, in, uh, in English, yeah, stratagem is a trick. Uh, okay. It's not only the, the craft of the general, there is also a scheme at work here. If we resort to another uh, uh, great uh, philosopher of war, Sun Tzu, all warfare is based on deception. Right. So it is both the art of the, and the craft of the general, but it also has a, a, tricky, a trick part, a deceit yes. part, a yes. scheme. It's a yes. scheme. It's something devious. Yes, and when we go back to Alexander the Great, Napoleon, and people like that, we can see a lot of uh, tricks and, and schemes. schemes and yeah. in, uh, in, uh, thinking ahead of your opponent. Right. You think that I'm going this way, but no, no, I'm going back yes. this other way. We can give an example uh, for Alexander, an example of a good use of strategy. Alexander, when he uh, went to defeat the, and to conquer, basically, like a barbarian, the, the Persian Empire, he uh, had a clear strate strategic vision in mind. He didn't go, if you look, study his campaign, he didn't just went to uh, minor Asia and just went straight to the heart of the Persian Empire to defeat the, the, uh, the Persian Emperor. I don't think the Emperor was the Emperor. Emperor. Uh, the king, king, of the king of Kings. The King of, of Kings. He had a clear strategy in mind. He had to secure a logistical base before uh, driving his, his army inland. He went into Asia Minor. He had a, a battle there against the local uh, Persian satrap, the local governor. He, he won the battle. And then, okay, now you just put yourself in Alexander's shoes. What to do? Alexander did not uh, just go you know, forward uh, in to the mainland of the Persian authority without any clear plan or clear strategic vision. He knew that in order to drive his army all the way through to the heart of the Persian Empire, which is the Persepolis, uh, again, Persepolis. Persepolis sorry, uh, and Babylon, obviously, yeah. he needs to have a secure logistical base. Okay. He needs to have control of the eastern Mediterranean. And he could not do that using a fleet because his fleet was inferior to the fleet of the Persian allies the yeah. Phoenicians of, uh, of Tyre. So yeah. he couldn't defeat the Phoenicians on land, uh, on, on, sea. on sea. So his yeah. uh, conclusion was to defeat them on land using his land army. What he basically did is uh, conquering all major ports of the eastern Mediterranean. And once he did that, he had a, a strategic base in order to go and defeat the 
Persian king of Yemen later in the Battle of Guagamela. Okay, but now Let's I want take to, it back to take it back to Game of Thrones and battling the others. Okay. Okay. Strategy and tactics, what okay. we learned. Let's bring it back. Okay. So, because strategy is the art of managing battles to win the, the object of war, how are, will our forces be best spent? What location, both in time and space, should we choose battles to be? Okay. Where, where should we choose to engage the others? Okay, where would you choose to engage them? That's a hard question. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because there's a quote, I think, that says that there are things we know. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns. The ones we don't know, we don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't like the person. It's Ram 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 is an idiot, by the way. I saw a documentary about it. He's yes. an idiot. You finish the documentary, you say, what? The, I don't understand. I, I understand less after watching the documentary. Exactly. He, he was an idiot. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But just like we talk uh, his ass off. Yeah, but if you want to watch a, a, a great defense minister documentary, there's a great documentary about uh, Robert McNamara, The Fog of War. Oh, oh. Now, that, that one, uh, yeah, this yeah. guy was a very intelligent. I I think, major the, I think it's the same director. Maybe. McNamara was so much more successful and intelligent than Rumsfeld, but he still lost Vietnam. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Being intelligent, I think the word intelligent is uh, overused. People think that so many people just say because you have certain abilities, it means you are intelligent. I don't know what it means being intelligent. Yeah, that, uh, is the, If yes. you fail so yes. miserably, why are you intelligent? Maybe you're cunning or maybe you are ambitious. Or maybe you I make agree. a good there impression. Is no, there is no clear, precise definition for intelligence to this very day. I let's, agree. let's digress for a bit, just for a bit. People say Ehud Barak, the most decorated <laughs> soldier in Israel, former prime minister, former security minister. People, people say he's very intelligent. I'm like, no. no. Maybe he's very intelligent because he has a degree in, uh, I don't know what. In, and he uh, can take apart clocks what, and stuff. Whatever. And he's rich. Okay, but maybe he's, uh, yeah, again, he's cunning, he's ruthless. But he, did, he didn't have the, the intelligence, the, the skill set which requires a great politician, which is knowing the human heart, knowing the human spirit. He very, very cocky. He thinks every, yeah. everybody else is inferior to him. Yes. He's not a team player. Not a team player. He, and, and he doesn't have self-criticism. You no, need all no. that to be intelligent. Okay, but let's go back to, yeah. to, to beating the, the White Walkers. The Look, so, so we need to think, okay, so we need to think where should we place our battles, both in space and time, against the others. So the problem is we don't have enough information about them. Because we can, we can look at the show and say, ah, the others, they are lacking the Game of Thrones show. But it's not necessarily okay. the case. There but let's, the the let's, let's use what we have. Okay. There is a, a, a way to do this. The, you know, the, um, human humanity fought uh, other armies of humanities. W w and people lack knowledge of the tactics yeah. and, the, yeah. and, the, and the material. And yeah, yeah, what yeah, you yeah. just think about the Aztecs in the South America when they had to fight the Spanish or the conquistadors. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a totally like different, it's like yeah. aliens. It's like the whatever, uh, the, the, the Baghdadis face now the Mongolians. What the fuck is that? Yes, Where are we going exactly. To? So, okay, so, so what was done? Usually people lost. <laughs> they lost, <laughs> but, but there is something to be done. You cannot just okay. throw the turn and say, okay, we okay. Uh, give up. So uh, what would you do? You are in charge of the, of the human armies. Well, you are Jon Snow. The first thing is to do is to take prisoners from the others, uh, to study them, both the whites and the, the white walkers, to understand how they think, how they sense the world. Do, do others have a sense of smell? It is said in the book they can smell life, but they, do they really like smell use the nostrils? Because if they do, that's a big main major advantage for us, for, right. for the between the us. Because if they use the smell, well, maybe we can use a smoke screen. We can uh, burn stuff, so they can smell us. For example, If we fight uh, in a forested environment, if we know the whites use smell to target uh, us, we can burn trees, and then how can they see? You need to take prisoners and capture the, uh, t to study them. All uh, information in is crucial intelligence. What, uh, you can say that this is magic. Of course, they are magical beings, but uh, George R. R. Martin he has a very realistic yeah. point of view when it comes to fantasy. So, In my view, it's, uh, the, the, the whites may be what we call, you know, a peretrum mobile, an infinity, an infinity machine, and a machine that doesn't require any energy. They don't have to eat, they don't have to drink, they don't have to breathe. Uh, you don't have to feed them. There's no need to worry about yeah. logistical lines. Morale. Morale, yeah. psychological warfare for the whites. Why? Nothing. Okay. okay, interesting. But 
for the others, for the, for, I'm sorry, for the white workers, I do think there's a difference there. Yes. I do think they have energy things, I do think they drink, I don't know, maybe they don't do but no, If they have humor, if they have a sense of humor, it means that they do have some kind of psychological exactly. makeup to and, them. And if you go back to the prologue of the first book, you can see that they have humor, they have language, they have a sense of uh, honor. Like the, the I um, don't, don't remember exactly his name, but he, he yeah. challenged them to a duel and they were a group. Yes. But they didn't go kill Yes, yes they, just they, one of them. They, they, yeah. they respected the duel. Yes. So they have a culture, a language, ego, ego, ego yeah. psychology. Okay. And uh, uh, therefore, I think they also, they, they're not entirely, I do think they, they may, I don't know, I don't know if they eat, but they, they must have something, I, I, that's my assumption, I don't okay. know. Hey, I, I, assume, I, I assume they do have something of energy that they consume. So you will take that information, and based on that information, you will decide where is it best to meet them. So for example, you wouldn't... If you, ha- if you had Winterfell, you wouldn't just send the Dothraki out there or just oh. s- go outside the walls and just have like a thin layer maybe of a, no, no, like no, a no. canal, a ditch of a thin, la- a thin yeah, ditch yeah, yeah, of fire. No, 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 no. Well, let's forget about that. No, 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 okay. yeah. You would choose somewhere to use your advantages yeah. and their disadvantages. Oh, exactly. Sense. Look, the, the biggest issue on where to place the, the preferable uh, battlefield and battle space the theory of operation is the main question of, of how the white walkers control the whites. This, mm. is, uh, okay. th- this is actually two questions. One, the, the process of becoming a white, convert the dead body into white. Mm-hmm. The second is, how, once it is white, how is it being controlled? Um, you have it, to work at it or is it automatic? We don't know. I can give assumptions, okay. theories, okay. nothing more than that because I don't know. Yeah, but we are using that in order to have a fun conversation. Exactly. So who cares? Okay, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to, about okay. tactics. Tactics. Okay. And so if you go back to that, uh, to the, 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 the to the question of how the white workers control whites, I can give a, a frame of thought. Uh, I was. Uh, Part of my military service, I was in the oh, military the, service. Part, sorry, part of my military service. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, okay. I was I was in the armor corps, and uh, we have to of course like tanks. Tanks. I was uh, tank. You were a uh, tank, uh, tank. Tank. Is, uh, tank. Commander. Tank uh, commander. Huge fund. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So part of our training is to, of course, learn a bit about the uh, uh, anti-tank doctrines, ATGM, anti-tank guided missiles. No. Cornet re- and stuff like that. Exactly. No. In order to think about them and to understand them, they are basically uh, uh, divided into three generations. The first generation is the most simplest one. The most famous example is uh, the Egyptian one, the right? The Egyptian, the Sagar. Sagar, right. The Sagar, right, which, right. which bends... With a line, with a cord, right? Yes. In the first generation of the Sagar missile, the operator need to both have a direct eyesight. Yeah. It had like a joystick. A joystick and a wire. It has right. to both have to know where its target is, the yes. tank, and to know where its missiles, and to direct, physically direct, the, the yes. missiles to the, to the tank. Okay. That was the first generation. That was the first generation. The second generation of missiles is like uh, the Tau, American Tau uh, ATGM. Okay. You, ju- you don't need to look at the missile, you just need to, to point the laser at the target, uh. and you need to constantly aim the laser at the target, and okay. the missile will go to the target. So you have two teams. You have one team that uh, do, does the firing, and one team on the ground that stays with the, with the, with the laser. Exactly. Okay. The third generation is the latest generation. Point the missile to the car and say, you go t- kill that, okay. and then you can uh, shoot and scoot. You shoot, uh, you forget, it's called fire and forget. You, sh- uh, you shoot, shager you sh- shager fire and forget. You, fo- you direct, the, you say, hey, little missile, this is your target, good luck. And you don't have to stay with the laser. No, you don't have to stay. You immediately and if the target moves, drone. it stays with the, with the target because it knows. It, it knows uh, that this is uh, this the, is my oh, target. Okay. It has a uh, I don't know how to exactly do it okay. works, but this is the technology. Okay. And how do you okay, so compare that to Game of Thrones? To exactly. Game of Thrones so the question is okay. This is my background, so this is how, how I talk okay, about okay, it. The, the, the question is how do the white walkers control the whites? Uh, uh, if we uh, oh, are they first generation, okay. do they have to see what the whites see? Uh, do they have to do physically direct them? Do, are the whites fire and forget? We don't know. Uh, okay. 
Okay. Another point is the uh, uh, conventional, uh, common fan theory, which I really agree with, is that uh, what the white workers are actually doing to control the white is basically a form of skin changing. Like uh, you have brand that can skin change into uh, crows and whatnot, and you have other skin, skin changers mm. like Varami. I, I never heard of this theory. It's, 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 a, it's a common It's a common theory, yeah. So uh, they can skin change to a lot of people at the same time. Yes, that, that's a big difference. It, it's a problem because we need to know how this works because once we know how this works, then we can devise a strategy and right. a tactic. Right. Jam their signal in some way. Jam their signal is there. Okay, I want to go to the latter two parts, attack and defense. Okay, and here we do, we do have to resort to uh, Clausewitz again, oh. which uh, brought the really uh, cool and uh, deep insight that he said that the strongest, the stronger f form of war is actually defense, it's not attack. This is kind of counterintuitive maybe. It was for me when I first read it, yeah? That's what he said? That's what he said. That's what she said. Defense is not a simple shield. It is a shield of well-directed blows. It is the pairing of a blow. Pairing of a blow. No, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, the pairing of a blow. And the pairing of a blow, it's not passive. It's not passive. You have to anticipate the blow. You have to know where the blow is coming from and you have to parry it beforehand. Not blocking, but the pairing of a blow. So the anticipation of the next move, understanding it. For the defender to win, doesn't need to do anything. All he needs to do is to keep the status quo. Uh -huh. If the defender... Uh, let's take a yeah. sports example. Yeah, it's okay. like Muhammad Ali. It's like Muhammad Ali well, when he was young. Like, uh, he was moving was around. Jungle. Think about like in soccer when you have two teams and there is a, a one team who is in the lead. You don't try to score any goals. You mm. just try to keep what, it, what is yours. The you can also be with 0-0, zero, zero, nil, nil. You can also play, play the defense, bunker. Yeah, yeah, but then you will not win. It depends what your, uh, what ah, your okay. goal Maybe is. Maybe your goal is to take a, make a tie, that's Maybe okay. Yeah, to take a draw and yes. that's your win. Exactly. For the defender to win, all he needs to do is to keep the status quo. What, what is now is good. This is Bibi, Benjamin Netanyahu 101. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it, it's conservative, exactly. Yeah. You don't need to change anything. You know, if, because of it said, the defender reap what he did not sow. You don't need to work. Uh, if you, with the, the state of situation stay as it is, you win. This is incredible. This is only... In football, soccer, you have a, a team starting each game that wants the game to be over. <laughs> and, you yes. have, and you have like half the league that wants the season to be over, basically. <laughs> because right now, they are not relegated because the bottom two places or three places, four places, depending on the league, they get relegated to a lower league. On the other hand, the attacker, for it to win, he has to change something in the status quo. He has to yes. obtain something. He has to gain something. If, yes. if the present situation stays as it is, he will lose. Yes. That's why he has to attack. Yeah. Okay, so you think, so if we take it to, to, to the okay. others, the White Walkers? If uh, the White Walkers say, uh, and I'm assuming this will also happen in the book, say the wall is falling. Yes. The, most winter is still ahead of us. So what it means is that the time works against us. Yes. Because the it's wall has fallen yeah. and it will be colder. Yes. So. And they're going to get more dead also. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, unfortunately, we cannot play defense against mm -hmm. the, the, the others, at least in the st strategically. Yes. We, we cannot, let them, uh, we cannot yeah. let them have seize initiative. Yes. We cannot let them run amok, uh, you know, yeah. uh, raising play, armies. Yeah, they can play the long game. They just can wait play until the, everybody gets Exactly. Frozen. They can play the sense. Actually, they can play the sense defensively. They have time on their side. Right. They can lure us in. If I were the, the White Walkers, if I was their general, what, what I would try to do is to break down the wall and try to do what uh, Russia do, to, what Russia did to uh, yeah. Napoleon, to uh, to what was it, uh, Hitler, uh, Hitler it and uh, also <laughs> also uh, uh, there was a Swiss king, uh, Alexander uh, Kusal. Uh, uh, okay. uh, right. You Basically, you can surround cities and forts and just wait. Exactly. You don't, have, you don't need to do anything. They don't have enough food. Some, uh, at one time or so you don't even need to attack yes uh, uh, exactly uh, if you have a uh, time and you're the defender yes ah, I wonder if he the George of the Martin uh, has thought of it I'm not presuming anything no because this is very very right they don't need to attack they, they don't, don't need to attack uh, if they, they they will eventually but they, they don't uh, they don't have to go out and, and, and force an engagement because 
it is actually in the human inst interest to go and fight as soon as possible because yes. with winter they will only go yeah. weaker. We need to engage them sooner than they, they need to engage us, which is totally but different than what we've seen in, uh, in Season 8 when the humans are waiting and waiting and the Night King attacks and also takes all the risks by going by himself into the... Okay, this is... Okay, every, nobody's seeing, but you're making a face that this is very serious. Come on, this, uh, very this is a show. This is just a show. Okay. This is not... Okay. Yeah. But by understanding that this is silly, we can understand far from that what is logical. Yes, exactly. It, 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 it is said that once they asked the Oracle of Delphi who is the most wisest, most intelligent man in all of Greece. And she said, Socrates. Why? Because he had the intelligence, the, the wisdom to know that he is ignorant. Mm. That, that he doesn't know like the, the God. He had the courage, the intellectual, the, the civil courage to admit ignorance. The problem with the others is that we don't know. Mm. We don't have enough information. We don't know how they sense the world. We don't know what they want. We d it's, it's, it's a yeah, big problem. Yeah. Klazovic said that war is nothing but the continuation of policy by other means. But we don't know what is their policy. Why are they invading West of us? What do they wish to achieve? This is like little things. I said, when your enemies don't know what you want, they never know what you're going to do next. I didn't know that, but that's very cool. <laughs> I, uh, you know, uh, Sun Tzu once said that, uh, I'm hopefully, um, yeah, you, I, I can't uh, directly call him, so I'll give it from uh, memory. <laughs> and in English. Know, yeah, and in English, <laughs> if you know yourself and you know your enemy, you will... Uh, fight and win 100 battles and if you know yourself but you don't know your enemy you will fight and, and uh, you will lose and win 50 50 but if you don't know yourself and don't you, you know the enemy you will lose so okay again sun tzu warfare all warfare is based on deception for you to deceive your enemy you must know what he thinks yes. how he thinks what it why, yes. why he wants Right, you can't lure them to one place or mislead them in another way if you don't know what their instincts are and what will lure them or deceive them. Okay, 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 okay. We talked about uh, strategy and uh, tactics, but this, there is also the concept of grand strategy. The first, for my, for my knowledge, the, for, for the first one which coined this term with, is Basil Littlehart. He's also a great... Uh, uh, philosophy of war. He fought in uh, the, the Great War, the World War One. He, he was That's actually such a great war. It was a great war. Yeah, uh, war is is natural to human. Uh, sadly, sadly, it is in, in our nature. There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. We wage war, and not only that, we are the only species that wage war. Other species cannot wage war. Yeah. If we go back to what they can uh, have strategy, they can have tactics. Yes, species maybe as a whole can have strategy like genomes and DNA exactly. and stuff. Uh, if we uh, resort to Yuval Noah Harari, he did, uh, f uh, of course, he broke the broke this best selling book, but there's also a nice TED lecture he gave. He tried to answer the question: Why do humans rule the world? His conclusion was because we can cooperate. Uh, yeah. flexibly in large numbers. Large yeah. numbers. Yeah. The examples they gave there is on the other hand the social instincts, the ants, that they, they can also uh, cooperate in large Each numbers number, yeah. like we do millions if not billions, but they cannot do this efficiently. They cannot change their study. They have uh, their, yeah. the, the work, the way their uh, strategy the taxi works is yeah. in, in their genome, it's instinctive. They, 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 know, they don't have a, a culture. They don't learn yeah. from a generation. They're creative. Exactly. Okay. It's not flexible. Yeah. Ants have been around for hundreds of millions of years. The way they wage war now, the way they did, yeah. Yeah, not very different. Not very different. On the other hand, you have apes, big apes like we have. But their problem is that they can't um, cooperate in big numbers. Yeah. For some reason, they have to know each other. So what we humans can do, we can scale up. We can take the uh, amount of cooperation and, and flexibility in our cooperation in the lower level, in the pack level, like a wolf or, or a chimpanzee, and we can scale it up to the billions. Yeah, into the entire, like, like all the human, all the living exactly. human beings. We started as family, tribes, city-states, yeah. empires. 
And here yeah. in the story, to all the living. All the living. So all the living cooperating and all the dead cooperating also. They also have yes. a way to make uh, people cooperate. So, okay, so you, you want to talk about grand strategy. So you have the uh, resources at the state level, at the highest level, and how do you best spend them in order to win the war? And the resource can, can mean a lot of things. It can mean manpower, can yeah. be fin- financial power, economic yeah. power, uh, cultural power, ethical power. And also resources, like resources, physical resources, physical like, like, force, uh, like rubber, energy, rubber, yeah. oil. Okay. So let's think about it ethically. Other ethics in ancient time usually means religiously. How we can we need to use to harness religion okay. to win. Okay, so how can we do it? Okay. We need to do it like uh, there is a b- great examples from our ancient history and today current history. Our even today, Israeli ancient history? Yes, and okay. also in, I don't know, ISIS. What are, there are still people around the world fighting what they call a holy war. Mm, you have people uh, shooting up uh, uh, other people in uh, the US also for some kind of holy war. Exactly. You, you have religious uh, incentives and, and, and uh, uh, reason to go to war. Let's think about it. You know, not all religions have this concept of a holy war. No, yes, uh, Judaism has a concept of holy war. Uh, against Tibet Amalek. Was, against no. Amalek, against the, all the indigenous uh, people of Canaan, the seven people. God says you can kill them all. Yes. Uh, sorry, and then, sorry uh, Amalek. Uh, Amalek is... Uh, uh, <laughs> Jebusim and whatever. Yeah, and, whatever. Uh, then, uh, you sorry. Know, <laughs> and then the, there is the Christianity and then in, uh, Islam and they, they had it took the concept of holy war and uh, it, it uh, developed with time. Yeah, jihad, yeah. crusades, whatever. Exactly. So okay. how would you use so, religions so, Okay, so we have in our time, day and age, in our religions, in this world, we have uh, religions with the concept of holy war. You need to have this concept of holy war in, uh, in Westeros. So we can incentivize the population to go and kill oh. the white walkers. This is very dangerous. <laughs> what do you do after you beat the white walkers? Well, uh, <laughs> this is like the Mujahideen. Uh, yes, this is a huge problem, <laughs> I admit. Raise up the prop up uh, the holy war against the secular communists and then they turn around and attack you. Okay, it's so very, it's very dangerous, but we need it. We need it right we need, now. We need all the gods of the region, yes. we need them all on our yes. side. We need to make the, the concept, yes. of, we need to have the concept of holy war, we need yes. to have the concept of martyrdom, we need to have the concept of heaven and hell, yes. and we need to say that the most noble thing you can do, the most uh, yes. righteous thing a, a human can do is to kill a white walker. Yes. Even if you die, it's okay, yes. you will go straight to heaven. Right, we need it. it, it and, and if you don't participate in the war against oh. the, the white yes. walkers, this is a egregious sin, Yes. You will go to hell. hell, your family will go to hell, yes. you will be tortured for all of eternity, yes. and this is very, very bad. You don't do it. You don't go do and fight the, the yes. white walkers, even if that means you get killed. It's better that you die fighting the others yes. and don't die fighting, fight, you know, die from some other cause, yes. then you will go to hell and you will be tortured yes. forever and ever. And you're going to die, when, uh, even if you don't fight, you're going to die regardless. And you're gonna go to hell afterwards. Yes. So, okay. so this is okay. I so like it, everybody. So this is the message: holy war. Yeah, but uh, you have to, you know, do it wise way because they have you have many religions in the West. West, you have the the fire, the roller religion. You have the 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 fate of the seven. You have the yes. uh, the old gods. It's not. It's a complicated uh, issue. It's not so easy like it was back in medieval time that you have Christianity and Islam and uh, you have Jihad and Crusade. I'm not sure that he will have time to get into it in the two books. I'm not sure he will have time to. Okay, maybe you're right. So basically, we need to know as much as we can about the other slash White Walkers in order to be able to choose the place and time which we meet them in battle then we need to know what specific uh, tactics to use. We need to know... Ab- how they control. Yeah, we need to know how they control their troops in order to know how to engage them specifically on the ground, on the terrain. And we need to engage them as quickly as possible. As, of course, having all the troops in place and all that. And we need to rally up the entire population into a religious fervor in, because this is the battle of life and death, literally. Literally. <laughs> literally the this literally is a, the, the, the only, should be the, only, the last war, the only war that counts. End of times, end of days. Yes, this is it. The Armageddon, this is it. Afterwards, 
will have problems with the religion, whatever, we'll sort it out. <laughs> but we need to do it now. Okay, okay. I thought it was, this was very, very informative. I think we can go on for another yes, hour. Yes. Let's go on and uh, continue the conversation. If you're on Patreon, on the Patreon page, on Twitter, whatever. Uh, okay. Thank you, Avi. Thank you, Gil. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. Hopefully, I didn't bore any of you. This is my first time doing a podcast. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry if I was not right. particularly... Uh, Good at it. Sorry. Yes, because I'm sure that most of our listeners have uh, have thought deeply about uh, <laughs> tank strategy, and there's they've heard so much about tank strategy and how you relate that to to Game of Thrones. Oh, again, another <laughs> talk about tank strategy and uh, and military service in Game of Thrones. Come on, come on. No, no, you were fine. You did great. Thank you. And maybe it won't be the last time. Let's think about some other topic right. uh, to talk about. Okay, so uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. So if you enjoyed this conversation, maybe you want to think about uh, becoming a patron. You can go to patreon.com slash got academy. And we have a lot of great conversations there. It's easier to have a, uh, meaningful conversations, uh, a meaningful conversation over there than on Twitter or Facebook or obviously the YouTube uh, comments for the videos. So uh, check it out. Uh, there are a lot of interesting uh, people over there with uh, some cool insights. And also that will, be, will go a long way to support the channel. And uh, we'll see you all uh, next time on the next contributor and the next podcast. Okay. Sure. Bye, bye. Everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, Avi. Thank you, Gil. No problem. Thank you.